Okay, we have just got to the adult. So first looks. Isn't that crazy? The only surviving building at the time. I thought that you guys would enjoy taking a little look see -loo. I'm here with uh, Nataru. What up? We just took the bus, which is very different here in Hiroshima ah! because it's not an underground subway system like it is in Tokyo. Um, so it, it did take us a sec to realize that this is above ground, kind of like a light rail in Minnesota. So, looks like there's also like a little shrine. That's crazy, huh? Okay, we'll do another look around so everyone can see. Um, we were reading about the dome and how there was a huge debate about whether or not they were going to actually end up preserving it and keeping it the way that it was after the bomb because some people wanted to just take it down so they didn't have to see it and then other people wanted to keep it up as a memory. So now it's a World Heritage Site. So I thought I would come around and give you guys a little 360 view of the other side. And we are in uh, the more centralized part of Hiroshima. I don't know if I mentioned that. And there's so there's a bunch of stuff over here. So there's a lake. This is all like um, where the A Dome is, and there's like a memorial park. And all right, looks like we are at the Peace Bell, and it says that we are welcome to strike it, but not with great force. So Nate is going to go up and gently strike the bell. As it says, after the sound reverberates, fades away, you may gently strike the bell again. Not with great force. Or no force at all. Okay, I'll try harder. But as you can see, this view is Phenomenal. Hi, so update, we went to the Peace Memorial and then we went to a little mall to find a travel adapter, which we found one but we're not sure if it's going to work because it looks weird. But all the ones that they were selling that looked American cannot be used in Japan for some reason unknown to us. Um, so we are now on our way to go get sushi. Waiting so, for my video to upload, you can see it's almost done, 6%. <laughs> so. The next time you see us, we will be eating lots and lots of sushi. Well, me. I don't know what Nate will eat because he's picky. So we'll see you guys soon. Okay, so we just sat down for sushi. Here's Nato. And here's his, this guy's little setup. I'm sure you guys how the food comes out. Okay, so we j we finished sushi. We're still in the mall. Here go, and we are getting bread for breakfast tomorrow. Oh no! So there's a bunch of bread options. We got some croissants. We got some butter. Look at these tiny pizzas. They are tinier than my hand. Yeah, but they're little pizzas you can have for breakfast. Because the possibilities are endless here. There is also um, this basket right here has sweet potato bread. They also have sweet potato ice cream. You know, so anything that you could probably possibly want. Oh look, chocolate croissants. Oh, but they're all gone. But me and Nato got the last two buttery croissants and that's what's important. They've got the goods in their reusable bag. And now we go back 
to their house. Show you a little bit of this mall. Like, look at all these objects. So there's a grocery store at the bottom of this mall. Can you believe that? A grocery store in a mall. So random. We forgot to bring our adapter, like for our three prong Chromebook. But we found out if we use my phone charger and just let it charge for several hours, it'll work. It's just very slow that way. How old is treasure? That worked. 30.